Hey, Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool poster design in Adobe Illustrator. So for this video, I decided to do a quick collab with my friend, Sharin. He owns a channel called Animotion, and you can check him out on YouTube. He's got a whole bunch of After Effects illustrations, and he creates some cool like text effects and shows you a whole bunch of cool things. So definitely check out um, his channel. I'll put the link in the description once his video is up, um, so you can check that out. So let's jump into Illustrator. This is the design. I'm gonna show you how I made this. It's gonna be super fun and super creative. So. I wanted to go for like a futuristic look. I found this lovely font on Behance. It's just for personal use though, not for commercial use. It's called New Machina and it's um, designed by um, Borgasm and Panagram. So you can check out the font there. So what I'm gonna do is I just have a poster size 1500 pixels by 2100 pixels, as you can see at the top, which is just a nice long size. I'm just gonna make a box rectangle and make it black. So once I've got my background, what I'm gonna do is just, I already have the text here on the side. So once I just put that on the bottom layer, I'm just gonna grab my text that I've already written out. So I decided to do a quote from Thomas Watson. I love using design quotes as a poster. So I'm gonna just copy and paste. So I'm going to just drop it in there. I'm gonna scale it up. And then I'm just going to stack it like this. I'll have to bump up the tracking. Then what I'm gonna do is going to find the font and we're gonna go ultra bold. The free font only version only comes with three weights, but the full version comes with heaps of different weights. Then I wanna scale this up and I'm just gonna stack it like this just to get a nice size because it is the key um, text we're using. I'm just gonna move my box over there and then what I wanna do is just going to paste this text in then for this one, I'm going to press I for the eyedropper, select this font and just hold uh, Control Shift Alt and I'm going to use the comma and full stop on my keyboard and that should scale the font down. I'm going to drop it down to a regular size style. And then what I'm going to actually do is actually rotate this like that and I'm going to put it on the side. Then what I'm going to do is hold Alt and Shift and duplicate this and then what I can actually do is copy the poster series 0001 and I'm just going to make sure that I use my eyedropper and make sure that it copies the same font there. So we're started at, starting to add like an anchor. So these two fonts are anchoring and I'm just going to see how it's connecting now with the top of this um, key font here. So now we have sort of like this, this box going on like this, which is really, really cool. I decided to go and get a gold skull off Envato Elements. If you do want to use Envato for graphics and all that cool stuff, you can actually check out the link in the description. You can see it's a 3D object and I got this from Envato. So check out the link in the description if you want to sign up for Envato, it's super cool. I'm going to just scale that skull, golden skull. I decided to go for like the side look. I just kind of like that angle, which is really cool. I won't make it too big. I'm just going to lock that for now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press L for the ellipse tool and I'm going to make a circle like this, which is really cool. Then what I'm going to do is go to my gradient tool, click on freeform gradient, and then I'm going to start to add some of these like pinky tones. You can see here, um, I'm going for these like bright neon pinks, um, some violet colors, and you can see I'm just adding some points here. Um, which is really cool. Cool, I'm kind of digging that vibe. So now what I'm going to do is start to edit this. So I'm gonna press P for my pen tool and I'm gonna click on the edges. So you just select and you want to, I wanna play around with these anchor points. So I'm gonna move around these. I'm gonna twist it. If I need to add a point and play around, then that's cool. So I'm just holding Alt. You can use, if you're on a Mac, you can use Option. And as I left click and make these anchor points, I'm just sort of making these weird like shapes. Holding Alt. I'm just making these weird, weird shapes just to make it like more experimentative and playful. Beautiful. I think this up here, 
needs to I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit maybe like that and you can always just adjust these handles you see these hands I'm just slowly adjusting those we don't want to make we want to have an organic feeling with this sh these shapes beautiful cool so once you're happy with your shape what I'm gonna actually do is go to effect at the top left corner and we're going to go down to blur and add a Gaussian blur. I'm gonna add about 15 pixels, which gives us this nice little blur on the edges there. Then I'm also gonna select it, and now we're gonna add a bit of a grain. So I'm gonna to go to effect, and we want to go down to texture, and then click grain. This is not a vector effect, it's actually a Photoshop effect. And I'm just gonna scale this down so you guys can see. And I'm using the intensity 11 and 51 contrast, and you can see the effect there. I'll press OK. Now we've got a bit of grain going on in the background. I just love that grain. It just has good vibes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to duplicate these texts over here. And now I'm going to add it down here into the nice black space. If I feel like it's cramping a little bit, I'm just going to rotate this. And I might bring this up to fill the space just so we have it's not cramped at the bottom we, we want to have a nice balance between the font and um, the other elements here beautiful so once again I'm just going to use some of the text here that I've already written down just to save me time I'm gonna copy that um, collab and it's always good to just find little details you can add just to make it interesting and the design tutorial. There we go. Add it in the space there. It looks super, super cool. And I might just center that. That's centered. And then I want to make sure that this aligns with this. So you can see I can do that. It's pretty already much aligned. Cool trick is you hold shift, select both of these ones, and you want to click the horizontal align right. And you can see it just bumped it to the right just so it's like perfectly aligned with that. Excellent. So now I'm really loving this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add these little um, circles here for the date because it is 2021. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box or a circle. Sorry, not a box, a circle. And then what I'm going to do is add a gradient and we'll make a linear gradient. Press Shift X to do it on the stroke. Bump the stroke rate to about three. And then what I'm gonna do is change the angle maybe to 120. So now we've got sort of this effect going on. And now what I'm gonna do is press um, the T tool, type tool, press T for that. And I'm just gonna make this text white. I can use the light or the bold version depending on what I wanna go for. I like the light version for this. Then I'm gonna press Control G and group these together. And I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift and just drop it like that. And then press Control D. Now this will duplicate the shape like that. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna just go in here, type 2021, change the numbers. If I need to sort of shift it to the left a little bit, just direct selection tool and move it to the left. This one, you can see there's more space on the right, so I'm gonna move it to the right there, beautiful. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna move these out of the way for now. I'm just gonna shift the, the shape and the skull here to the right a little bit just to give it some more breathing room and then I'm also going to just bring this down like that and I think I'm, what I want to do is actually just make it more spaced out so I'll select it and then I'll distribute them so it's evenly distributed now the tools are all up the top you can align them really easily then what I'm going to do is press P for the pen tool holding shift left click once and then left click the second time to make a stroke and then what I'm going to do is just make it a nice gray color like this. And I'm just going to bring it behind these guys. But what we have to do is make a black fill on this circle. So now you can see if I just drag this off, it has a black circle like that. And I'm just going to do that for the rest of those circles. I'm going to make it the same stroke as the... This, this gray stroke, we want to make it the same as the other ones you've done. And then what I'm going to do is hold shift and alt, drag it, click and drag it. Then press control D, control D. 
and I'll just bring it to the back like this and now you can see we've got that happening I think right now the stroke is a little bit too long so I'm gonna shorten it like this I'll make it the darker gray so you can see I've got a couple grays here sort of like one that's at like 30% from the black and this was like 50% so it just adds that little bit more detail into the piece without being too distracting because this is already colored the, the circles which is really dope boom and I think I'm happy with that there you go that's how you create a cool little poster you know we can play around we could add more little details on the side like maybe I want to like add like a circle at the back here um, you know like a little element yeah, we, can, we can play around we can do heaps of different stuff but for now just want to keep it clean and heaps typographic um, but yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial remember you can check out the animated version the link will be in the description when he's done the video but i really appreciate you guys remember to smash that like button if you like me creating some more poster designs or tutorials like this let me know remember to, to subscribe as well because i post design and graphic design tutorials and content every week love you have a great weekend take it easy